Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can perform a deauthentication attack against any network. So if you don't know what is a deauthentication attack, then it is basically an attack using which we can disconnect a client from the connected router or Wi-Fi access point. In order to perform this attack, you need to have two things. The first one is a Kali Linux machine and the second one is a Wi-Fi adapter. So make sure that your Wi-Fi adapter supports monitor mode otherwise this attack will don't work so i am going to use a tp link wi-fi adapter which supports monitor mode and recommended for hacking so i am going to give the link of the product in the description you can get it for you so i connect my wi-fi adapter with the system now to check if the wi-fi adapter is successfully connected or not run command iwdev as you can see it is showing me a interface wlan 0 which is my Wi-Fi adapter, means my Wi-Fi adapter is successfully connected. So in order to perform this attack, first of all, we need to put our Wi-Fi adapter in monitor mode. For that, we have to kill some process. For that, first of all, we need to down our Wi-Fi adapter. After that, we can kill all this process. After that, we can enable the monitor mode. So let's write the command for it. ifconfig, then the Wi-Fi adapter interface name, wlan0, down. Then now we can kill all the process that can create trouble while enabling monitor mode. Airmon ng check kill. It will kill this process. Now we can up our WLAN 0. Let's enable monitor mode. For that run command. Airmon ng start WLAN 0. Now hit enter. As you can see, monitor mode is enabled. We need to run a scan to check all the access point or Wi Fi available near us. For that, run command error dump ng WLAN 0. As you can see, it started a scanning and it is currently showing all the Wi Fi available near us. So, this is the MAC address of the Wi Fi, this is the channel which is 1 and this is the encryption used by the access point and this is the name of the access point which is Wi-Fi. So now let's check all the devices connected to this Wi-Fi. For that run command sudo error dump ng iPhone iPhone BSS ID then the BSS ID of the target. then hyphen hyphen channel then the number of the channel number of the target wi-fi which is in my case one then the interface name of your wi-fi adapter which is wlan0 now hit enter as you can see there is a device connected to this network so this is my windows machine which is connected to this network so this is the mac address of the machine and i'm going to show you how to disconnect the device from the network I'm going to stop the process. Before continue to the further attack, I want to show you the Windows machine that is connected to the Wi-Fi. As you can see, this is my Windows machine and it is connected to the Wi-Fi that I previously showed you in my Linux machine. And I can successfully use the internet and browse anything. Now let's go back to my Linux machine. So in order to disconnect my Windows device from this Wi-Fi, we'll run command sudo airplay ng hyphen hyphen d auth then you have to mention a number of packets so if you mention a small amount of number of packets then the device will disconnect from the wi-fi for a less amount of time and if you mention a large number of packets then then the device will be disconnected from the wi-fi for, for a long period of time so we'll mention a large number so that the device will be disconnected from the Wi-Fi for a large amount of time. Then hyphen A. Then mention the BSS ID of the Wi-Fi router. I'll copy it and paste it here. Then hyphen C and mention the device MAC address to which you want to disconnect from the Wi-Fi. So I can copy it from here. Again paste it. 
then your wireless adapter interface name wlan0 now hit enter and our deauthentication attack is successfully started now let's go to the windows machine and check the internet connection now if i come back to my windows machine and try to browse anything and as you can see it is unable to load and showing that there is no internet and if i come back to here and try to connect as you can see i am unable to connect to the wi-fi so the attack is successfully launched and i am unable to connect to my wi-fi